My Shear ID story begins uh, as I was brought up in a small town in Michigan. Uh, my mom was a teacher and my father was a carpenter. I always knew that I would be an entrepreneur. I always knew that I would start something and that I would have a passion for growing it. And I moved to Oregon in 1996 and started my software career at Palo Alto Software. I learned so much about scaling a business and growing a business and doing so with meaning. That led me to start Sheer ID, to help people like my mom, a teacher, my father-in-law, a military veteran, my wife, also a teacher, and so many friends and family who are first responders and medical workers and certainly students all over the world. And I'm just so proud to have been able to start and grow and now scale Sheer ID to be truly a global enterprise software platform here in the state of Oregon. I knew early on that Jake was really going to start something on his own someday. It was just a matter of the right thing. And sure enough, true to his heart, he found the right thing to really help grow business in a totally new and inventive category. When I was interviewing for my role at Sheer ID, I had so many people tell me how similar Jake and Sam were, and that was so comforting to me. Um, I see so many similarities between Sam and Jake. Um, I'd say Jake is quietly brilliant, and I use those words specifically because he doesn't come into a room and try and overshadow it. He's very humble, but at the same time very inspiring. There's so much to respect about Jake Weatherly. One of my favorite things is that he is a very curious person. So he is incredibly smart, and he is always interested in hearing what you're doing and he's just a tremendous human being all around. So people do business with whom they like and trust and I love Jake and I, uh, I, I trust him, the people around Jake trust him, he has a level of authenticity. One thing about Jake that you don't see in every CEO and that is um, in many cases, it's really critical for the growth of a company to sort of let the experts within the organization who may have, you know, a specific level of, of expertise, whether it's in human, uh, human relations or whether it's in finance or whether it's in sales. I've watched Jake get out of their way and, you know, really encourage people to lead, but again, not to micromanage. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. Jake's involvement in the community, I think Jake's got a lot of different communities and there's a lot of different ways I think about how he's involved with them. My first interaction with it was actually the, the Eugene community where, where Sheer ID was founded and he gives time it doesn't seem like he should have to, to, his, to the, you know, the employees, his commu the community, the customers and it's, it's incredible. I don't know where he gets all the time. So Sheer ID gives back to the community in, in many ways. Um, locally in the Portland area and in the Eugene area, the team mobilizes on a regular basis to volunteer and to give back. The one thing that's really interesting about giving back in our communities is that we have the benefit to align that with what Sheer ID does as a business, as a software platform. So we do work with students. For example, we volunteered with uh, Smart Reading. Um, we do work for teachers. Uh, we volunteered with schoolhouse supplies. Uh, we do work in the environment. Down in Eugene, uh, we focus heavily on, on clean and fresh water with the Mackenzie River Trust. And that's special because that's not just uh, donating money or donating time. It's actually about spending time in the beautiful uh, landscape that is Oregon. Jake loves to be involved, especially when it comes to our kids. The school that our kids go to has been a great source of volunteering for Jake. Um, he's given his time, he's given some money, he's just given his passion to the kids and the teachers that run this wonderful school that our kids go to. It, it doesn't stop at just that school. He's been a huge part of the University of Oregon. Um, he has done a lot of different things with them at different levels over the years. 
He is also giving to Portland in ways as we expand our family dynamic up into Portland for living in Eugene for so long. Um, he loves coming up here and bringing the kids and doing some things that are out there on the streets of helping people in need, showing our kids that that's really important to be involved in and helping people. And I really appreciated that Sheer ID has, has given that to not only him, but so many of the employees and so many people in the community. I think that Jake's approach to his company and technology is so embedded within his concern for the community at large. It is very clear that he's not just running a business. He is interested in developing a service through his, this technology product that will enhance the world and make the world a better place. Jake's leadership approach is, I mean, I hate to use catchphrases, but I think leading from the front is, some, is a way that I could describe it, where he's just with the team. He's there side by side. He's not ever asking anyone to do something he wouldn't do himself or, or hasn't done himself. So as I reflect on, on Sam and his leadership and, and his influence in the greater Portland area and in Oregon and beyond, I think a lot about my own children and I think about uh, the, the youth in all of our communities. There's just so much that is being made available that we really need to unlock and give access to, to help the next generation become innovators, become entrepreneurs, to enjoy the magic of technology. And I'm just flattered to be a part of Sam's legacy and to be this year's Technology Association of Oregon's Executive of the Year. Oh, the award is very meaningful to Jake. Um, he has really appreciated all of the different people that he's met along this journey. Um, you know, the past 12, 13 years, he's met a lot of people between Eugene and Portland and beyond. And I remember him talking about Sam Blackman and what an inspiration he was and for Jake to be recognized in the light in the same footsteps as Sam. It's an honor, and I'm just so proud of Jake. Jake, everything that you've shown me from a leadership standpoint, from a friendship standpoint, and just caring about those around you and your family uh, has all led to this moment. So congratulations, so well deserved. It's an honor to be your friend. It's an honor to be part of this community. Everything you've been doing and building, you absolutely deserve this, and congratulations. It's not often when the most important business people and entrepreneurs are also the best human beings, but that's what you get with Jake Weatherly. Sam could walk in a room and light it up with a smile, with his passion, and with a hug, and, and Jake does exactly the same thing. A smile, passion, and a hug. <laughs>